At least eight people have died as parts of the northeast coast of the United States were buried under nearly a metre of snow. And now some residents in Massachusetts are being told to evacuate their homes in case of floods. America's northeast coast is still digging itself out from under a vast smothering of snow. The blizzard may have subsided, but the effects are still being felt by these vulnerable oceanfront houses in Massachusetts. In many such areas, people have had to evacuate their homes. Some described the epic blizzard as being like a fire hose, blasting out huge amounts of snow, leaving chaos in its wake. It's very crazy. Two snow blowers in my truck is dead too. Hey, look at me. I'm freezing. The main warning coming from mayors and governors across all towns and cities was stay off the roads. Whiteouts made driving extremely dangerous, in some cases fatally so. Massachusetts expected and got the worst of the snow. All traffic was banned from the roads. It's the first time the state has done this since the blizzard of 1978, which crippled the region. For the people of New York, Staten Island, still scarred by last October's Hurricane Sandy, this latest storm was a challenge they didn't need. For those who dodged the worst, the blizzard presented a weekend of fun. For those hit hard, it's only the beginning of getting life back on track.